her. Hold up. I gotta share this live out. There we go. Let me share the live out, you guys. One minute. Hey, S. Priya, what's up? Oh, y'all come back in. Come back in real quick. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I had to go. Um, I wanted to share the live out. I'm getting into the live right now. MP Veronica, hi. Boss Lady, Rhonda Page, Eric Smith, hey. Vibing with Neek. All right, you guys. So if y'all took part in the polling, I got like 320 uh people that decided to um vote and 60 percent of y'all chose mini upside down pineapple cake so that's what we're about to do right now so um if you already voted and you knew what we was about to do and you decided to do this with me these are the things you're gonna need hey ali presents you popping and all that atln a boo okay <laughs> My lighting is ridiculous. I'm sorry. All right, so this is what you're going to need. First things first for upside down pineapple cake is pineapple cake. A can of pineapples. Um, what's it is? <clears throat> Maraschino cherries. Don't get me the line. I think it's a maraschino. <laughs> um, some eggs for the cake. I got vegetable oil over there. And to make them into minis, you're going to want a large muffin pan. A muffin pan that makes the large muffins. And brown sugar let me see what you guys are talking about it's only 34 in here come through lashes okay Trey what let me make sure nobody is uh nothing can mess up my life Yes, yes, yes. Boss lady, please tell them. Do not forget to hit the like button. Boss lady, you've been a part of me so long. You definitely need to be mod. Where you at, boo? Why aren't you a mod? Well, you are now. Hey, Eric. How are you doing now after your shot? My husband got it yesterday. I'm doing fine. I don't feel anything, to be totally honest with you, Veronica. Uh, for anybody wondering how I'm doing as far as getting a coronavirus vaccine, I feel nothing. What I have heard is that when you get the second shot, part two, that's when you get a little bit sick. So anticipating that one. Looking good. Thank you, boss lady. You see your blue boo? You see you blue, right? Hey, Bridget. All right, so I wanted a good amount of people in for me to start, but let me get this started because the most important part is pretty much the easy part. Well, actually, the most important part, more people will be in the chat for that. All right, 40 in right now. So you guys are starting to come in. Um, Let's get this started because... Everybody know how to make cake batter, so I don't need to wait for a bunch of people to pull up to make no cake batter. 
um, when we get to the cool part where we're actually forming the the bun cakes, more should be in. I was at a store and I didn't know what to buy. Okay, so this is what you're gonna buy, babe. You're gonna get the upside, you're gonna get the pineapple cake box. You see? I'm trying to make sure you get it with a glare. All right, cool. You see that? You're gonna get this. You're gonna get the pineapples. And then you're gonna get the cherries. And brown sugar, um, brown sugar, eggs, and uh, oil and water. And that's pretty much to make the cake batter. All right, let's get the cake batter going. Who's that? 38 people. Yeah, y'all give me more thumbs up. Stop playing. Stop playing before we cut the live off. <laughs> hey, Mia. I just made it. Uh, I just made upside down cake for New Year's. You did? I bet it was good, right? Them upside down cakes ain't no joke. All right, let's do this. first y'all see my Pepsi down here sleeping hey lady what's up Right now the box says three eggs so i'm adding three eggs what y'all talking about hey cynthia wilson this looks like one of our easy things that might be easy to do yes yeah, prior this is simple trust me um make sure you have you a large uh muffin pan and this is gonna be one two three if you know how to make upside down pineapple cake we're about to do the same thing but in here and we're gonna perfectly make some mini ones because one of the most important things about making mini ones is because when you make an upside down pineapple cake and it's good, everybody wants to cut your cake and mess it up because everybody wants to get a cherry or a pineapple or extra pineapple or extra cherry. And when you check your cake in the morning, you see everybody doing a little weird cuts and messing up your cake. And if you're a person like me, that'll piss you off. So I like to do the minis so that the only thing you could do is grab your individual and not mess up my whole cake. You know what I mean? Hey, Junior, Rochelle, vibing with Neek. Yep, vibing, please let them know. Hit the like button. Thanks, boo. Liani, I think I said that right. Am I with child? What does that mean? Pregnant? No, I'm not pregnant. I look pregnant? That's fucked up. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, somebody, somebody else asked, was I pregnant? So I do look pregnant? No, I'm not pregnant. Mm -mm, not over here. Not today. Not ever. Not again. Corey made me cut that ever. I will never. Oh, I don't? Oh, okay. <laughs> somebody, I think like two people asked, was I with child? So I believe with child means pregnant. If I'm, or yeah, I mean like with child, like, like with my child. No, he gone. Do I like Swiss cheese and grapes? Mm. I, no, no, I don't, I don't. Swiss cheese and grapes. That's different. I've never, you know what I'll say before I say no? I'll say I never had that before. Fupa challenge on your Mr. Um, Fupa challenge on Mr. London Chandel works. Oh, what's that? You look pretty. Thank you. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Nia. My daughter loves uh, loves to say your intro. Oh, oh, that's dope. Just another maniac, Stacy. Thank you, babe. That was dope. Tell your daughter I said super shout out to her. Thank you so much for that. Hey, where my thumbs up at? Well, we have 44 thumbs up and 60 people win, 64 people win. Y'all better stop playing and give me my thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, click out real quick, subscribe right quick. Let me make the cake batter and then we'll chop it up in a sec. this back Let me set the oven. That's the first thing you got to do making a cake is set the oven. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you so much, Valerie. Damn, Mia flipped whoever off. Yeah, I be acting up sometimes. Forgive me. They said I was pregnant. That's a curse. I don't want to be pregnant. Do y'all see Corey? Do you see how much I get cursed out for Corey? Why would I do that again? OMG. It's Thelma from Good Time. <laughs> Thelma was a whole baddie in his days. All right, so one cup of water. Oh, let me get the oven going. 350. water here's an eight ounce cup oil One third vegetable oil. One third vegetable oil. 
Then it's the annoying part, mixing it in. What y'all talking about? Oh, did she do like Thelma? Yeah, everybody keeps saying I look like Thelma. That is like a so, that is like so compliment. I, I love that compliment. And you know, I have an automatic mixer and I never use that damn thing. Can you shout out happy birthday to me? <gasps> oh, happy birthday, Jake. Wait, wait, what's your name, baby? Jacqueline Coney, Conley. Happy birthday to you. I'ma make a cake for you. <laughs> now, happy birthday, Jacqueline. I hope your day is super lit, doing it big. I know it's hard to do big right now, but listen. Doing it big don't necessarily have to mean you in the streets with a bunch of strangers. I'm late. What you making? I'm making mini, um, mini upside down pineapple cakes. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Lady Boo. Riri, I'm doing good. If you're asking in reference to me getting the uh, the virus shot, I'm, I'm doing great. You had me in tears yesterday. I'm such a crybaby. A crybaby. Thank you. Aw, uh, Sandy. Listen, I could never sit there and not act like you did not tell me what I was eating that day or influence my mukbang for the day. So I thank you. And plus, the food was banging as hell. I got a little bit of leftovers and I'm probably gonna either bust that down late night or um, do another mukbang out of it. So, nope, don't thank me, I thank you. Thank you, Ashley. Oh, it's your first time catching my live? Um, you said, Sandy said, do your watch hours count if we rewatch videos we already watch? I wish that did count, but it don't. Um... As far as I recall, when I was in a process of getting my 4,000 hours together in order to be monetized, I don't think the same account watching the same video repeatedly counts. I do believe that it only counts, you know, one account per video. That would be dope if it did. I watched my own video a million times until I'm a millionaire. <laughs> Uh, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Uh, only one account per video. Um, that is annoying. But there are ways to get around that. Actually, there's not ways to get around that. It's just ways to, you know, don't get your hours up. There's a bunch of little slick methods out there. You know what I mean? This shit about to make me sweat my lashes off. Shit. Make a banana pudding. Oh, I made banana pudding like last month. new subscriber oh thank you thank you so much yeah if you're not subscribed to my channel click out real quick subscribe and pop back in
think I'm going to add a little bit more water. Just a little. Y'all don't hit the like button. We need 102. Yes, please tell them. Stop playing with me. Tamika, hey. Do you do I make peach cobbler? Um, no, I have never made peach cobbler before. Funny to be totally honest with you guys. I'm a cooker. I'm not a baker. I do not bake. But when it comes to baking, the one good thing that I'm phenomenal at is upside down pineapple cake. All right, so now that my cake is pretty much mixed real good. I got my pan. Oh, the, the oven just beat this ready. So take your pan and spray. Now, uh, for anybody who just popped in, if you want to do the individual mini upside down pineapple cakes, get a large muffin pan, a large muffin pan, okay? You go on Amazon and find one, you go to Walmart, Target, and uh, get yourself a large, a large, little, 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 <laughs> a large muffin pan. Keep your pan on deck because depending on how many um, cakes the batter makes, you're going to have to literally empty them out and refill this repeatedly. Let's go. Now we're gonna cook a full stick of butter and uh, brown sugar. Okay, so I have a full stick of butter in the pan and now I'm gonna put a full cup of brown sugar. It doesn't matter if you use light brown or dark brown. I use the dark brown because I like the coloring more at the top of the upside down pineapple cake with the dark brown sugar. But if you want, you could do the light brown. It doesn't matter, it's still gonna taste the same. The coloring is just altering the look. Some people say the dark brown tastes sweeter than light brown. That part, I'm not really sure of. But for me, I like the dark brown because it gives it a more goldenish color. You know what I'm saying? Uh, have you ever tried baking um, the bacon pan? Ain't that, ain't that what this is? Yeah, this is the, the butter flavor pan. Uh, the bacon pan has grease flour, which helps whatever base come off the sides of the bacon dish. Oh, really? I didn't know that I'm not really a, a pro Pam user Terrell went and bought this one time and I actually was like 
boy, when did you ever see me buy Pam? Why did you get this? I could have based my own damn Pam with regular butter. But funny enough, I have found this. You see, it's almost gone. <laughs> so I talk shit because I never used this because it's like artificial butter. But I, it actually is very handy. It's very handy. So I have used it a bunch of times. So that's what I get for talking ish. Hey, Shelby. All right. The butter's halfway melted. Let me throw some brown sugar up in here. So what we're doing here, you guys, is we're melting. You know what? Let me put the camera down so you can see. We are melting the brown sugar with the butter. Okay. See what's going on here? All right, I can actually add some more. Once you melt the butter and the brown sugar together, um, if there's a whole lot more butter swimming around, add more brown sugar. Men don't be knowing uh, we can't send them to the store for us. Oh, girl, listen. I send that man to the store. Now, most of the time he called me when he in the supermarket to make sure he don't mess up. But I don't know what it is I sent him for that made him come back with some damn Pam. But you know what? Like I said, the can is almost gone, so it came in decent help. I'm one of those, you know, don't, don't give me no artificial. I'll butter my pans regular. I'll do this regular. I'll do that natural, natural, natural. But listen... I use all that damn pam already. <laughs> Thank you so much. I leave, I leave skids. Ew! Why the hell would you name yourself I leave skids? What, what, what kind of shit is that? Literally, what kind of shit? 
Oh my God, babe, you gotta explain yourself. Listen, and I'm just I'm just joking around because that's just a funny name, and you know good and damn well that's a funny name. What is I leave skids? <laughs> That is too funny. You must have like a comedy channel, right? I tell you one thing. I leave skids. If you a man, I appreciate you saying that to your name. You know why? Because at least you're not going to leave no surprises to your woman. She already know what it is because you pretty much admitted I leave skids. So now you ain't going to do the laundry and be all upset and surprised and you know what I mean? All right, you guys. All right, y'all. Let me put the camera down. All right, so all the butter is cooked nicely in with the brown sugar. So now you're going to take this completely off the flame because you do not want it to caramelize. out closer can you see me all right there we go <laughs> so I'm gonna open the pineapples and we're gonna put um, a layer of pineapple at the bottom of each um at the bottom of each uh, muffin setting and then we're also going to stick a cherry in the middle and then we're going to pour some of that delicious gooeyness and some cake batter on top of it and pop them bad boys up in the oven Here's what you may find you have to do. So the pineapple almost fits perfectly in there, but, and that's the one that I ripped a little piece off. So I'm going to do that to all of them. This is what I did. I literally ripped off just a little bit. And now I dropped it. So now that one's garbage. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to rip a little piece like that. And now it will close even more to fit better inside of the pan, the muffin pan. You see? Perfect. Okay, so that's what we're going to do for all of them. And don't think I'm going to leave that down there. I'm going to get it in a minute. I love that part of upside down pineapple cake because I get to take little pieces when any of the sizing is not perfect I get to rip off little pieces and eat them all right so now we're gonna put a cherry or two depending on how you like it in the middle of each bundt cake 
the Marshallino, don't give me the lion, the soft fast cherries in a jar. Now, of course, you're going to pull the stem out, okay? All right, so now that we have it perfectly layered, now we're gonna put some of that brown sugar on top. And if in the midst of making it, the brown sugar starts to stiffen up a little bit with the butter, literally just put the heat on low and it'll melt and turn gooey right back again. And that's all I'm doing right here. Because while it was sitting, while I was doing that, it got just a little bit stiff. But literally, just a smidge of warmth and it turns right back into goo all over again. Cause you don't wanna heat this up again. You do not wanna cook it and turn it into uh, to caramel, no. All right, so now that it's nice and gooey again, here's what you're gonna do to not mess it up, okay? You're gonna take one tablespoon, not teaspoon, one tablespoon. One tablespoon of the brown sugar and put it on top. Now you're gonna take that little spatula you have and just evenly lay that, lay that down. Okay, boom, just like that. Now do all of them. Okay, there you have it, okay? So now, you're gonna take that cake batter, give it a stir because it's been sitting for a while. Make sure it's still nice and creamy. Now get a large spoon. And 
and put a spoonful of cake batter in each one. Okay, let's give it a little shake. Boom, perfect. Now you're going to pop these in the oven. Boom. All right, let me clean up that pineapple now, y'all. Now that the first batch is in the oven, as soon as that come out, I'm going to put them in my cake topper, in my cake plate, and uh, it will look beautiful. You'll be able to layer them in there, and if you have a cake plate, I'm sure it's clear. Most of them are clear. If it's not clear, I don't know. I've never seen a not clear one, but uh, you'll be able to layer them and, you know, have them looking so pretty, and it's so presentable for when you're having guests, when you're having... Um, a holiday dinner or just sometimes to have in the center of your dining room table in order for people to come over and you know see some beautiful treats all right let me see what y'all talking about now what am i cooking today Zaya Rose, I'm making mini upside down pineapple cakes. These cakes are going to be cute, girl. They're going to be so adorable. I need to try this. It looks very easy. You know what? 
it for it to be so um loved it is very easy it's like the simplest most you know it, it's so damn simple it, it, it's so damn simple like literally it, it's so simple i'm telling you, you can make the hell out of these and because they come out so adorable in the mini bunt size wait till you see them come out and then on top of that you're gonna love the fact that people could just take their own instead of chopping up your cake and messing it up because they want to take all the pineapple with their greedy ass so <laughs> so you're gonna love the mini individual upside down pineapple cakes and plus people who really love the cake is gonna love them too because you get to have your own you don't have to hope that you can cut off a decent piece and get your cherry and your pineapple too you're gonna have your cake and eat it too all in one all in one little one little bun it's perfect Can I be your, uh, your niece auntie? <laughs> uh, she's married, sir. Oh, what happened? Who trying to pop the question to me? Huh? 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 No, I'm just playing. I'm married. I'm married as fuck. I might put a little Hennessy in mine. Ooh. Yes. That's what you do. You, when you making these for your adult friends, your company. Yes. Spike these bad boys up. That's exactly what you do. That skills right there. Okay. Hey Mia, have you ever used um, pineapple juice inside of your cakes mix uh, instead of water? No. I have never done that. Damn, that sounds like a really good idea. Where the hell are you? Your ass should have been here when I was making a cake mix. Don't tell me now. You should have been here telling me. Shit. Ooh, damn, that sounds like a good idea. I'm going to do that next time. Or rum. Mm. Yes. Ooh, that's what you do. That's what you do. You put some rum up in there, let me tell you. Because... It's so sweet with the brown sugar, the cake, and the pineapple and cherry. Let me tell you something. If you spike that shit real good, ain't nobody even gonna know. So you slip like two of them to your man, right? And then when he nice and he relax and he like, damn, man, I don't know what you put in that cake shit. But whoo, you got a nigga feeling kind of lovely right now. That's when you go, yes. Now what's the code to that phone, baby? That's how you get the code to the phone. <laughs> now don't listen to me. Um... <laughs> <laughs> don't listen to my ass that's how i make my pineapple upside down cake i'm in maryland oh that's how you know some good shit because you in maryland oh that don't count maryland and all them southerners they be knowing the, all the good shit i'm in new york not the code yes the code give me that code let me find them hoes i don't know if he was really at work yesterday no, no, don't get me to get y'all going and messing with your man. So my Mia said you wasn't even at work yesterday. <laughs> um, did you say yes, I could be your niece? Yes, you can be my adopted niece. I got so many damn nieces and cousins and aunt. Hell, you could be one and not even know it. <laughs> my family is ridiculously huge on my dad's side. Jesus. All right, let me scroll up, see what y'all was talking about while I was over there cooking. I love you, boo. I love you too, Zaya. Um, what did I tell you about them kids? Didn't I tell you, forget them kids. Don't let that bring you down. Oh, oh shit, that's probably, who, who, you, who you told F them kids? <laughs> who, I gotta scroll up. Uh, you see how much hard work she puts into her content? I definitely do my best to, um, I mean, I can't say I perfect my content. I'm, I got a way to go, but I definitely do my best to put a good foot forward into bringing good quality videos to you guys. Yeah, see, I cleaned off my windowsill, right? Like a, a bunch of people, like four, five videos ago, cursed me. I was like, get that shit off the windowsill. Now, let me tell you about that. I actually usually keep my son's medication up there because Corey is on like uh, two medications daily and I keep his Tylenol 
too so that if i if anybody needs to get his medication it go right there real quick so i was like damn like 30 people done cursed me out and said bitch clean off the windowsill so i just cleaned it off i listen to y'all i do anybody can tell you if you're new to my channel my supporters i truly listen to y'all and i respect the shit that come out your mouth a hundred percent and that honestly will help will help any content creator um navigate towards better content when you listen to the people that actually watch your videos next time clean the drippings um with ocd oh next time clean the drippings for those with ocd um yeah people at school be calling me special education at school and they uh hunt my feelings auntie People at school be calling me special education at school and they hunt my feelings and they hurt your feelings. People at school be teasing you, saying that you need to be in special education. First of all, tell them, how, how old are you before I give you a response? <laughs> Zaya, baby, how old are you before I give you a response? Because then I, I'll know whether to give you a, a child-friendly response or to me a special response. Uh, because I got a good response for that because guess what baby girl plenty of us been in special ed Only reason why I didn't go is because my mother tried to fight it off But I should have been there and both my kids has had a, a try at that. So listen Don't let nobody disrespect you like that baby girl and how, how old are you? You said people in school do this to you. So your school age Listen if anybody in school try and disrespect you and call you special education First of all, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the people that are in special education. What's great about the people that are getting special education is that they're getting help for what they need help with. So there's nothing wrong with them. So the people that are making fun of them, tell them to shut their ignorant ass up. One. Two, tell them if you needed special education, you'd be there. So maybe they should get it because they're acting like they need that extra little help. California in her okay we got Compton in the house <laughs> this is my first time here how are you hey Ray Max kitchen I'm good thank you for joining the chat I made all my A's on my report card to, uh, today <gasps> you did you see listen let me tell you something when you're smart, as smart as you sound, if you got all A's, there are a lot of people that are going to be jealous of that, okay? Because there are a lot of students that can't get all A's. There are a lot of students that struggle. And when you're struggling in school, it is not an easy thing to deal with because you're, you're very much worried about your peers, what the other kids think of you, what your teachers think of you, your friends, and you don't want anybody to name call you just because you're not as smart as they are. So people who are not that book smart as you are, sweetheart, they're going to make fun of you because deep down inside, they want to be as book smart as you because it would make school and life a little, little bit more easy. Um, so trust me. Those that are usually making fun of you and harassing you, they see something good and special in you that you either don't see or they don't want you to see. So don't take every insult for what it is. Take a look at who's giving you the insult because nine times out of ten, that's an inside feeling that they're directing to someone else, but it's truly how they feel about themselves, okay? So you go, girl, with all your A's on your report card, my new niece. I'm 17 years old. You're 17. My daughter's 17. You good. You ready for college, baby? If you got all A's, I know you're ready for college. Let me know what you plan on going for. What's your future plans after high school? Mm-hmm. It's not what you're called. It's what you answer to. Absolutely. Listen, let the... Exactly. People will try and call you everything in a book, but don't respond to that. Don't even feed into that. You're a lady and be that and stay that. Mm-hmm.
Now, who thumbs down this video? Somebody give me a thumbs down on the stream. Y'all, listen. Ride out. Who who up in here said they was from Compton? Ride out on them right now. Whoever gave me the thumbs down, listen. Who was I just talking positive to? Zaya, baby, close your ears for one second. I got to talk to the adults. I need y'all to ride out real quick on who gave me the thumbs down, okay? We need to find them, load up, and ride out. Y'all with me? Because nobody is allowed to give me a thumbs down. Nobody! <laughs> thumbs down, they trip. They definitely tripping, all right? We about to make some good-ass tasty cakes. Why would you thumbs that down? You don't like cake? You little creep? You a creep if you don't like cake. I don't even want you at my house if you don't like cake. Because you're a creep. Yes. If you gave me a thumbs down, everybody from Compton and New York, we gonna ride out. In Boston, I know they give it up good too. Okay? Everybody get on the road and gas up. Can you give me a blue uh, jacket? I will give you a blue jacket when you pop in a couple times. I definitely give that to all of my supporters. So, pop in a few times and I will definitely give that to you, okay? That means watch videos, comment, just let me know that you're an active supporter. But regardless to the fact, sweetheart, I thank and appreciate you so much for being here today. That's a fact. That's a whole fact. Kentucky? Oh, you Kentucky riding too? Oh, they, they don't want it. They don't want it. Kentucky, you know Kentucky use shotguns. They don't play out there. Listen, whoever gave me the thumbs down, listen, okay? You could never. You could never, okay? I got Compton and Kentucky ready to ride out up in here. You don't want that. You don't want them slugs from them backyard shotguns. You don't want that. Don't give me the talking shit up in here, y'all. <laughs> we got kids in the chat. And Long Beach. Oh, y'all know Veronica. Oh, man. Veronica blocked the shit out you for not even giving me a thumbs up. Y'all don't want this. You don't want this smoke. You don't. Shit. Keep your thumbs down and keep it pushing. Because we out here. We out here. <laughs> yeah. North Carolina riding too? Oh, man. When the Southerners come through. And they legally, they are legally loaded all day. They are legally strapped. See here, we got to put our shit in the back. They could carry ass in the front. You don't want this. You don't want this. You better go on with yourself. You don't get the wrong one to thumbs down. <laughs> what? Hey, Jalil. You just in time, baby. Louisiana, you don't want it with them Southerners, baby, because they legally strapped. Legally. They will legally be in the supermarket, literally, with the shoddy over there, the, the Desert Eagle over there, and something pretty in the front seat of the car waiting for the groceries. <laughs> Like, literally, you don't want it with none of them. So you don't want it with me, okay? Because I got Louisiana and Compton and Cali and Kentucky <laughs> and Kansas City. Oh, man. <laughs> Save me a piece of that cake. You got it, baby. Let me check in the oven and see how it's doing. Ooh, it's looking good. It's looking good. It's looking good. As soon as it's nice and brown, then we're going to take it out. And what we're going to do to make them nice and flat, we're going to cut off the top. That's where you're going to sharpen your knives. So let's sharpen our knives right now so that when the cakes come out of the oven, we can do a nice clean slit. I got my cake sharpener. I mean, my, my knife sharpener. <laughs> sharpened up my knife <laughs> oh shit I almost nicked myself so I got the knife nice and sharp so that when the cakes come out we could cut off the fluffy part because we're gonna flip it and let it be its royal upside down mini glorious self 
and you want the knife to be sharp um, because you don't want to rigidly cut the, the bun cake, the mini cake. You don't want to do that because you want all the cakes to smoothly sit down, especially if you plan on making about a dozen of these bad boys. And one cake batter makes a dozen. One cake box makes a dozen of these. Then if you plan on having a dozen of them, that means in the cake... Um, in the cake holder, you're going to have to layer them on top of each other. And you want them to look pretty and smooth. You don't want them to be rigged because the knife didn't smooth cut that, that fluffy top part off. The muffin part. What y'all call that? The, the muffin? Your muffin top? Yeah. We're going to cut the muffin tops off. So we want the knife, the knife to be smooth. So it cuts off the muffin top nice and easy. North crack a lacking. <laughs> Mia, where's Corey? Corey is with his godparents right now. He is in Spanish Harlem with his godparents right now, living his best life with his little god sister. They are in toy heaven over there. Oh my God. I might have to clock out for this scrumptious delight. All right, boo, don't worry about it. Another time you could uh, jump in and uh, zoom all the way to where you see me pull them out the oven. That's all. But thank you, Jalil. The rest of y'all, y'all better stay here. <laughs> oh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, jump out real quick, subscribe to the channel, make that thing turn gray, and pop back in. Uh, Jason Hunter, sir, you watching a game? KC Chefs? KC Chefs? What's going on? Hey, Patricia. Jason. Oh, thank you. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Thank you. for Thanks for being you. That's all I know how to be. I'd rather be me than anybody else. Thank you so much. And I hope y'all want to be you as well. Thank you, Jason. 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 Got the money, daddy. Thanks, Jason. <laughs> thank you so much, babe. That was so dope of you. I appreciate it. I just gave you a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Zaya, thank you. No, I mean, I might get off early and join you for this. Oh, all right, well, then pull up, boo. Pull up. You ain't saying nothing but a word. Hey, Janaya. Uh, so am I as prior waiting on the Saints. Go, chefs. What is that, a, a game? Is that a uh, is that a, like a sports game? I don't know nothing about no sports, you guys. I can make good little delectables for a sports game, like if I was hosting one. <laughs> I don't know nothing about no sports. I don't know what y'all talking about. But Jason, Jason, thank you again. That was completely generous of you. How is Pepsi? Pepsi has been down here. Oh, he heard his name and jumped up. <laughs> oh, it's my light. No. There we go. Oh, no. There goes Pepsi, guys. Pepsi. Say hi. Yeah. Pepsi is at my foot. <laughs> he don't move. He be right where I'm at. <laughs> that is my 10 week old black lab, you guys. My little black Labrador retriever. My new puppy. The newest addition to the family. Can he be my dog too? Oh, of course. You're going to have to fight Corey for him, though. And Tori. <laughs> Do Terrell like sports? No. That's why I don't know anything about sports. Terrell does not watch sports. So I don't know nothing about sports. Hey, Mia, you are cute. Thank you, Yolanda. I'm sure you are beautiful and popping too, baby girl. Thanks. Oh, it's football. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know nothing about football. But I love when a guy has a football back. That nice, big, I'll tackle you back. Woo! Get him. Get him. Mia, you, uh, you read it wrong. You must don't watch football. I said KC. KC Chefs. Our football team, Kansas City Chefs. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Chiefs, Chefs. I don't know nothing about no football. Yes, girl, me too. Oh, don't you like a man built like a football player? Girl, listen, keep them little skinny dudes elsewhere. I don't like men too skinny. I like a, a husky, gorilla, bat built type. Rawr, just like ramsack through a bunch of trees for no reason. <laughs> Yes, thank you so much. You are so sweet and kind to me. Oh, and I hope everybody in school is too. Mia, what you cooking? I'm making some upside down uh mini some mini upside down um cakes. <laughs> Pepsi gonna uh get so big. Pepsi is gonna be a monster real soon. Pepsi. Every time I he hear his name, he go. That's crazy. I've had him for two weeks and he knows his name already. Um, you go to sleep. You go back to sleep. Um, his paw is literally like right here in the palm of my hand. Pepsi is going to be a freaking animal. <gasps> and Taylor, thank you. Oh, man, y'all are just. Y'all's generous. I, I. I just can't thank you enough for that. Thank you so much. You guys are freaking awesome. Not the gorilla. Yes, the gorilla. Girl, let me tell you something. If you got a man with a scrawny back and then you get a dude with a big old gorilla built back, I'm telling you, the next time you date somebody with a scrawny back, you're going to punch him in a windpipe real quick. Tell him, get up out of here with all that because you can't hold nothing. Because that dude with the back he gon he could dodge towards you and her just pick you up and hoist you somewhere. You like, well, let's go. <laughs> I'm going wherever he takes me. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Ann Taylor. That was so generous and dope of you. Thank you so so much, sweetheart. That was too generous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, where's my big boy Corey? Corey is with his godparents in Spanish Harlem right now. He is in toy heaven with his god sister, living his best little life right now. So I'm spending my day with you guys. <gasps> oh, listen, make sure. What's today? Sunday? Make sure Tuesday, y'all all that's up in here, Tuesday, watch my video. Me and Terrell are gonna try the new uh TikTok viral meal. The um we got the uh fufu agusi with um with goat and um and jollof rice with chicken yo i have not tried it i, I cannot freaking wait we're gonna do that video later today and i'm uploading it tuesday tuesday make sure y'all check in hold me down to see the video hey matthew what's up I'm done. Me is hilarious. Oh, thank you. Y'all know we just be talking shit to each other. We be talking a little shit, little song, little song. <laughs> the best cuddles ever. Ooh, from a big dude, they give the best cuddles. Not no little skinny frail thing. You know, you know what I don't like about skinny skinny men? Are there any kids in here? Zaya, baby, I need you to uh, go go back out again. I gotta talk to the adults. <laughs> you know what else is annoying about if there's any skinny men in here i love you i'm just talking shit <laughs> um skinny dudes like you ever notice you do something you know a little you get a little nice nice mm -hmm, with a skinny dude and you can feel his pelvis bone and your damn abdomen shit that's a that's a turn off that shit hurts that's when I realized I don't like skinny dudes. I'm like, I know this is not for me. 
Oh no, you can't be jamming and stabbing me up with your goddamn pelvis bone. And then every time you want to do something new and grind, now I got the feel now the bone grinding too. The pelvis grinding, you grinding. I'm getting stabbed from all ends. Now I'm good. I'm good. Take you and them bones up out of here. Get on with yourself. Go and gain some weight. Eat you some pork fat and then come on back. That's how we gonna do that. But it's not just about the eating. You got to eat and they got to work out. You know what you got to do? You got to take your dude outside and make him do pull-ups on the street lights. That's what we used to do back in the day. Had the dudes go on every corner, every every corner and, and stop at the, the, the street lights, the, you know, the yellow box on the corner that says either stop or, or go, stop or go. Yes. Tell your man, hey, do 10 pull-ups right now. And every time y'all reach a corner, say stop, daddy, do another 10 pull-ups. And his back, whew, 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 his back going to be out here. Girl, let me tell you. Mm. Listen. Listen. No, not gain some weight. Listen. If you like skinny dudes, there's nothing wrong with that either. That's why what I like is always available. Because most females like tall, skinny, slim, you know, straight up to heaven type dudes. And that's what's up. That's what's up. Go on and get them, daddy. But I just like me a stocky man. I like a big dude. Because, you know, I got issues. I, I don't got all my marbles. And if I throw something at you, I can't be knocking the wind out you. And now you want to call the cops just because I don't do a little something at you and you couldn't take the hit. No, we can't do that. We can't do that. Skinny dudes will get real mad real quick. See, a stocky dude, it'll bounce off his biceps. So he'd be like, oh, you crazy. See? And then we'd be good. <laughs> the skinny dude would be like, oh. You be done caved that dude whole chest in. Get in there, get in there like that listen it'd be like that sometime but there's nothing wrong with a skinny dude after i talked all that shit right there's nothing wrong with a skinny dude <laughs> skinny dudes are cool skinny dudes are cool just not with the pelvis but other than that y'all cool you're really pretty pretty thank you sierra thank you so much baby girl i'm sure you're beautiful just as well don't hurt nobody i i don't i'm good you know what they say about them pretty girls, right? Cuckoo. I wanted the chocolate cake, but okay. Uh, listen, I wanted the chocolate cake too. I went along with, with the popular vote. It, about little, little, about 320 people voted on my, um, my vote thing. I put out a, uh, shit, what do you call it? I put out something for you guys to choose <laughs> and I let you guys, I allowed you guys to choose either to, for me to make the upside down pineapple cake or the chocolate cake and 320 people at the time that I checked, I'm sure right now it's probably about 400 people, but hundreds of people voted and 60% of the people voted for the upside down pineapple cake. So I got to give you guys what you want. If you want the chocolate cake, we'll do that next time. But the next video, you want to tune in on Tuesday, 2 p.m. Me and Terrell are going to eat um, the, the TikTok viral meal. The igusi with the fufu and the, um, the jollof rice. And I can't wait because God damn so, I watched his video and he had me dying. So, and he also made me want to try it so bad. So, I sent Terrell for it. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. I can't wait to try it. We're doing that tonight, but I'm not uploading it till Tuesday. I always say I want a man with um, some body. Yes, you want a man with a little body. You don't want him to be too frail. Because what if one day you get out the shower and you want to throw on his boxes? You know, we most ladies, we got a little hips, little ass, you know. I can't put on your little skinny old drawers. Ugh. They ain't going to be making me feel fat. Because your, your drawers are a freaking medium or small. Oh. And plus, let's keep it real, ladies. If the boxes are medium or small, where's the beefcake? Because you ain't talking that joint in in no medium or small. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, his video was funny. 
Yes. Hey, Una Poco Loco. Yes, his uh, goddamn Zo. His video was so freaking funny. I watched a couple of videos with guys who did the uh, the TikTok viral. Um, what do you call it? The TikTok viral uh, African dish. And his his got me the most. His got me the most. Hello from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Hey, Alice. Hey, Nikita. It's the mo cushion for the pushing over here. No skinny men. Okay. Please tell them, period. Period, daddy. Please. Go eat a little something. Then come on back. A skinny dude. I mean, once you get older. I mean, how can you lay on him if he's too, too skinny? Like, how do you, like, lay on him? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to. Uh-uh. Go that away. Get your little frail ass over there if I throw a pot at you. <laughs> you can't come up in my house like that. Mm-mm. Terrell, no. He keep, he keep beefy because, uh. You gotta know, you gotta know when the, oh shit, here she come. <laughs> Don't sleep on the slim dudes, okay? Listen, I slept on the slim dude. I even slept with a slim dude. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? You almost killed me, little dude. <laughs> no, let me stop, let me stop. Um, No, 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 any dudes in here that's, that's slim, Um, I'm just joking around with y'all. Because everybody can have the same jokes towards bigger dudes, towards skinny women, towards big women. That I'm just joking around. Don't listen to none of the shit that come out my mouth. Trust me. Right? Feels like you're laying on a board. And honestly, that speaks the same for the super, super buff dudes. You love a lay up next to a super, super like buffed out muscle head he in a gym every five minutes for no reason at all like there's no competition no he's not trying to you know there's nothing going on particularly in life he's just at the gym 24 7 and he just like uh built like a whole rock all over that's nasty too i don't like that i love me some chunky yup girl you know them skinny dudes got that womp womp they do what is the size of their leg it's skin you know what it is all right I can't say that skinny dudes don't got junk because that would be the ignorantest, most dumbest shit possible. Gaining weight does not make you gain weight down there, okay? You could gain or lose weight. That meat gonna stay the same, okay? So you write about that. Anybody, any size could be holding all the beefcake. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is when y'all getting it popping, his pelvis is going to give you a rug burn. <laughs> His pelvis is going to hurt the shit out your pelvis, I'm telling you. That grind in them butt cheeks feel different when it ain't no meat on it. It hit different when it's bone on. I'm telling you, like, when something, like, put some, put your elbow real quick in, in right here. You feel that? That's what the hell it feel like when somebody's pelvis bone is grinding in your damn thigh. Oh, hell no. But they probably do got some big beefcakes. I mean... <laughs> Uh, listen, your size ain't got nothing to do with what you got down there. I'm just talking ish. No big buff dudes either. Y'all take your big buff ass someplace else before I tase you. I can't stand a big old extra muscly. I don't think that them type of people are too bright. The hell is wrong with you? Why? Why? You trying to crush my kids? Get up out of here. Looking crazy. Mia, weight ages people. When uh, when they skinny, when they're younger, they tend to look good. And if they get older, look, it keeps wet. All right. You're right about that. You're right about that. Keeps wet, I mean. I mean, keeps wet is older, older. Is he? How old is keeps wet? Can you know what? But keeps wet, I'm, keeps wet is not what I would call skinny. I would not consider back in the day keep sweat skinny back in the day keep sweat was a perfect dude like he wasn't big he wasn't small he was just a smidge under medium he was he was a good good size 
any if he'd lost weight then we got a problem but Keith Sweat was fine back in the day I haven't seen the picture of Keith Sweat in a little bit so I gotta check that out and see where he at with it cause if he fucking up then his lady fucking up they need to get that together I want me a, a bad bod a dad bod you know what dad bods are in dad bods are really in I'm telling you Women are really starting to get into these men with the, with the dad bods that look like normal, regular human beings. Just like men are starting to get into women with regular bodies and not into the souped out, superficial, you know, type of thing. Um, it's, it's, it's coming back. The dad bods are in there, baby. Don't sleep on them. Check the cake. Oh, shit. Yeah. Almost, just a little more, little more. Old skinny dude for me. Only skinny dudes for me. Girl, you take them and leave the stocky ones to the side. You see, that's the beauty of it. Cause you got somebody that want this and you got somebody that want that. So what I want is available because most women actually do like skinny, tall men. That's why my little stocky gorillas be available. I be like, hey, <coughs> come. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> all my little gorillas be there waiting for me uh, women don't usually mm, flock to men like that women always want some skinny tall linky dudes and uh-uh i'll i'll be the doofy dude up in a minute <laughs> i'm terrible y'all got me talking way too much shit ll uh cool j oh yes ll got the body and he's not too too muscular he a little too muscular a little too i wouldn't throw a pot at him because i would i would worry about him throwing a pot back ll is strong as hell <laughs> ll is built like hell but but he's smooth with his bigness he's not like too rocked out you know what i'm saying i could get with ll all day we all could let me tell you something i don't know if you, i don't care if you like skinny men tall men short men ll pop up that's where your standards are, him. What I like, I like him. <laughs> okay. Terrell gonna get you. Listen, this is just girl chat. My husband ain't worried about me having no girl chat. That's insecure. If you can't have some girl, some innocent girl chat about stuff like that. You think men don't do that? I'm sure when Terrell is with the guys, they talk about what type of bitches would drive them crazy. Oh, please. Men do their thing. It's just chat. That's one thing I'm happy about. He's not childish enough to, like, would you say what you do? No, we, we, we not there. Girl, we can talk about all types of beefcake. I'm at home cooking him some upside down pineapple cake. That's how you got to think, okay? You just um, embracing exactly what he is. I'm just embracing exactly what he is. What, like a stocky dude? I love it. I don't want short men or, um, or a man my height. I'm 5'4", and my husband is 6'1". Ooh, Nola, that's actually sexy. You're 5'4", and he's 6'1"? That's sexy. That is sexy. You could climb on him. That is sexy. I only dated a tall guy like once or twice. That is cool. I'm not going to lie. A tall dude. This, I, talk, I was talking shit about slim and tall, but like... A regular size tall dude, that's 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 cool. It's really short. <laughs> We're the same height. But tall dudes are dope. It is dope to have a tall dude. Yeah, look at hey. Get down here. <laughs> that is dope, Nola. You go get your man, baby girl. Keep sweat is 59. Oh, that's nothing wrong with that. Give me my thumbs up. Y'all heard my supporters. Let's go. Let me check the cake. Almost, almost. Smidge more. I'm 5'3". He got to be tall. I feel you, baby. I'm 5'5". Five five. My husband is six foot. Okay. Sis, I'm watching. Um, I'm watching. Bring one of those to work. Hey, Rose Boo. I don't work tonight. I'm off the whole week, baby. Brittany, what's up? 
Little Gemini, tall men are the best. OMG, once you go tall, it becomes a height requirement for me. But I'm 5'9", so I need a 6'3 and up. Ride this ride. Damn, okay. That's what the hell I'm talking about. Listen, I'm 5'6 and a half. And Terrell is the same, 5'6 and a half. I'm cool with that. But I'm not going to front like if he pulled up one day and he was like a whole nother foot. I wouldn't be like, hey, what you doing up there? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> That's what's up. Tall dudes can pick you up. That is a fact. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. Short dudes can too. Because let me tell you something. Terrell could pick my ass up like this. It is not the height with the picking up because a regular height dude can lift that ass up real smooth too, okay? I bet no skinny dude can't do that. <laughs> and if he could, I wouldn't want his damn wrist bones puncturing my thigh. <laughs> oh, man, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Some skinny dude going to catch my ass in the street and yoke me up. <laughs> Shout out to everyone in the chat. Yes. Shout out to everybody for pulling up, you guys. Hey, cute girly. Hey, Million Dollar Styles. What's up, baby? Thank you for pulling up. Exactly. I love to get picked up. I'm 5'4". Listen, all it takes is a nice, strong dude to be able to lift you up. Height ain't got nothing to do with that. Because if your man can hold you down... It, first of all, men know how to do that shit. It's a special thing that they know how to do. Terrell did that. Let me tell you something. He did that shit on our, on our second date. A second or for I'll not you know what the ship felt so smooth I never forgot it I don't know if it was the first or the second date but I remember um uh, when I met Terrell I was thick and this was 10 years ago and I was like you can't pick me up with your little ass and I'm cracking jokes and messing with him that dude picked me up like nothing like what's up ma I was like I'm calling you tonight when I get home what little daddy said what Little daddy said, what? Listen, let me check the cake. Okay, now it's done. I love to cuddle with my tall, fine man. I feel you, baby. Mmm, yes. Now that it's all golden brown, yes. Perfect. Now we're going to let him sit for a little bit. First, let's cut off the muffin tops, all right? We're going to talk shit in a minute. Hold up. Hold up. All right, so here is... Here is um, the quick trick to smoothly cutting off your muffin top to making your muffin even so that you can flip it if you're making upside down pineapple cakes uh, in order to make sure it's balanced. You're going to pretty much place your knife on the cake, uh, on the, um, the muffin pan. And this also goes for when you're making a regular cake and you want to cut that muffin top off. All you do in order to not make your cake uneven and cut it nice and smooth across is line your cake, line your knife up, lay it on the, the muffin pan and just cut. You see? Smooth. If you keep your knife lined up with and Terrell loved these, so I'm going to leave these aside. If you keep your knife lined up smoothly against the top, you don't have to worry about making it rigid. It cuts right across, and your knife is laying on something solid. And this 
This is why I said sharpen your knife before we do this because you don't want to jag, you know, you don't want to hammer up your, your muffins. You know what I'm saying? All right, so now that I have nicely, smoothly cut off all the tops, and as you can see, I'm going to, you see how I can turn it that way and you can't see? It's just a smooth, and that's very simple. You're just going to lay the knife and do the same thing. Hey, Tashana, you're going to do the same thing when you're making a, a regular cake inside of a regular cake pan. If you want to cut off that fluffy round thing so that that fluffy muffin top part so that you can flip your cake out and it lays down nice and flat, you're just going to lay the, I'm going to show you again, lay the knife on top of the pan. Make sure your knife is sharp and then just cut. Smooth across, smooth across, <laughs> cut, 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 cut. Boom. You see, the pan will help you keep it nice and even. All right, now let me make sure that my um, bunt cakes are a little separated from the muffin pan and then we'll flip them out. Mm, perfect. And there you have it, guys. Isn't that adorable? And when you make your second batch, you literally, once these cool off, you can lay the second batch, uh, you know, simultaneously uh, in between to layer them. Perfect, 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 perfect. I'm gonna change my thumbnail, so let me get my thumbnail pose. All right, there go my thumbnail pose. All right, you guys, so thank you so much. All right, you guys, so this makes a really, really good decorative in the middle of your table. These are perfect for when you having any type of gathering and you don't wanna have to monitor. And you can do this method 
for any type of cakes you want, whether it's little chocolate cakes, any little thing you can use the same method. All you're gonna do is transform, transport everything from a regular cake pan to that large muffin pan. And there you have it, these cute little mini bunt joints. All right, you guys, I'm gonna get up out this live because we've been up in here like an hour and a half. So you guys, I'm gonna do the next set. I'm gonna pop that in the oven real quick. Don't forget, please, I'm gonna give y'all a second. Jump up out the live, subscribe to my channel if all of you are not with me. Are they cool? Oh, they're good. They're, no, 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 they're still nice and hot. They're hot, hot. But the good thing is you can take out your upside down pineapple cakes pretty early. As you can see, they come out quickly uh, in good condition. You don't have to like wait, wait. I'm out shopping, still trying to watch. <laughs> Girl, did you see the cakes? Oh, they're good. They're perfect. It's too hot or I would eat one right now. Let me see. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect little cakes. Mm. Oh. <sighs> mm. No Pepsi, you can't eat this. This is cake, baby. I'm sorry. I know. Pepsi jumped up like, what the? Do I smell food? Mama, stay cooking. <laughs> Damn, this is good. Mm. Woo! I done burnt the roof of my mouth. <laughs> Woo! I ain't even gonna hold you that burnt the roof of my mouth. Woo! Oh, and if you have kids, save these little bun, um, these little cake tops for the kids, they love them. Little crispy sweet toppings that you cut off the muffins. Mmm. Mmm. I know I throw a lot of these things. They're good. Don't throw them away. Save them as little soft crunchy cookies. Because they're crispy on the outside and soft right up under here. Pepsi, you just scared the shit out of me. No, you can't have this, baby. I know, but it's cake. I know. I can't give you cake. Aw. Pepsi, Pepsi like, no. He wants some cake. Mm. I'm sorry, Pepsi. Mm. Oh, you cut the tops off? Yes. This is what you do to make your perfect um, layered upside down cake or any regular cake. You know how a lot of people, when they take their cake out of the oven, or your mini upside down pineapple cakes, you got that muffin top on it, that round, and you want to cut that off so that you can flip it out and it's nice and flat. All you're going to do is sharpen your knife really well, for anybody who didn't see this technique, and lay it on the pan, okay? Because if you don't lay it on the pan, you could accidentally make the cake lopsided, and then when you flip it out, it'll be on the pan like this and like this instead of nice and flat like that. Lay the, pan, lay the knife on the pan and smoothly cut and leave the knife on the pan. And that's how you make a smooth, straight across, clean cut in order to flip them out and have them laying nice and flat and even the way you saw me uh, put them on my cake plate. And yes, the cake top, uh, the muffin top, save them because you can eat them. They're good. Are you crispy and soft? Kids love that shit. Mm. 
You guys, don't forget Tuesday, I'm uploading the TikTok viral meal. Me and Terrell are going to try the fufu and igusi for the first time. Looks good, Mia. Thank you. Me and my sister vitals are shutting down. They're giving her... My sister's vitals are shutting down. Oh, wow. Whew. Veronica, um, everybody wish Veronica some blessings because she's going through a lot with her sister. She might not be with us too much longer. Uh, Veronica, your sister is truly in my prayers and so are you. I hope that you, um, that you get through this. Um, because at the end of the day, she's most likely going to a better place. Okay? When we lose our loved ones, one thing I learned working in the health field, you got to take yourself out of it. In order to accept that someone may not be with you any longer, meaning they may be passing away, you just think about them. Don't think about you. You're hurting because you're probably about to lose somebody you love, but they probably deep down the side no longer want to deal with whatever they're dealing with. They could be in pain every day, sick of taking their medications every day. They could just be done and overwhelmed with, with, with their sickness that they've been battling or whatever their situation is. And they're probably ready to move on. So instead of being sad, sometimes when you lose somebody, be happy for them. Be happy that they're going to a better place. They ain't got to pay no more damn bills. And they are about to be in peace comfortably. Okay? That's the one thing I've learned. That's one of many things that I've learned working in the health field. That a lot of times people want you to allow them to move on. Because a lot of times when people are screaming and crying at the bedside going, no, don't go. Deep down inside, when those family members leave, the patients are like, I'm done. I am done. You know? They are ready you know, so be happy that the person you love is good. Okay. Thank you very much. Family really appreciate all the prayers. Uh, thank you so much. Absolutely, Veronica. Absolutely, sweetheart. You are such a dope supporter and I truly wish you the best. You and the rest of your family. But you guys, I got to click out real quick. I got to finish making my last set because if I stay up in here with y'all, we're going to be up in this live forever. <laughs> um, oh, Jesus. Y'all see I'm burp. I'm, I'm not even doing nothing. Yes, you guys, please make sure hit the like button on this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so that you could be notified with me. Or me and one of any of my guys upload another mukbang. Bye, you guys.